Here in nature, plants and animals interact all the time, but it can be a lot more complicated than just one thing eating another. These relationships between two different organisms can be examples of what we call symbiosis. Symbiosis can be defined as any kind of a close, long-term biological interaction between two different organisms. These interactions can be mutualistic, commensalistic, or parasitic. Today, we're gonna to explore the amazing world of mutualism. In mutualism, two organisms are in a relationship in which both members benefit. A classic example of this is the relationship between plants and pollinators. It's basically a win-win situation. Pollinators like bees and butterflies fly from flower to flower, feasting on nectar. In the meantime, the pollen that sticks to their bodies transfers from one flower to the next. The pollinated flowers are now able to develop into fruits. The insects get food and the plants get pollinated. Like I said, a win-win situation. In Central America, the bullhorn acacia tree has large thorns that are hollow. A species of ant from the genus Pseudomyrmix has taken up residence within the thorns, boring holes near the top of each thorn and raising broods of young inside. These acacia ants provide a valuable service by chasing away herbivores that would eat the leaves of the acacia, such as this leaf cutter ant, which has fallen from a tree higher up. The acacia ants attack the leaf cutter until it drops off. This service of pest elimination is so valuable that not only does the tree provide its thorns as little apartments, but it also produces tiny packets of ant food called Belchian bodies. You help me, I help you. That's mutualism. In South Florida, the corky stem passion vine is protected by a nasty little ant about 1 20th of an inch long called Wasmania, the little fire ant. The ants are attracted to the plant, which not only provides nectar in its flowers, but from small nectaries on the stems of the vine as well. These little pots are filled with a nutritious liquid for the ants. The zebra longwing is one of three species of butterflies that lay their eggs exclusively on passion vines. The larvae, from the time they hatch, feed voraciously on the plant. Here's where wasmania comes in. In some cases, wasmania munches into the tiny butterfly eggs, killing them in the process. At other times, the ants merely check on the eggs as if they have other plans later on. Savagely, the ants stab into the tender larvae just as they're hatching and inject venom into them. The ants get food plant gets protection from herbivores. That's mutualism. We find mutualism as well under the sea. The polyps of corals have green algal cells called zooxanthellae living within their tissues. The algal cells provide sugars which they make through photosynthesis, something the polyps can't do. The polyps in turn provide a protected place to live, an animal and a plant benefiting each other in a close relationship. You might say that mutualism is like any good human relationship. If we get along and help each other out, life is good. If you thought mutualism was interesting, check out our other videos on parasitism and commensalism.